you stay. We're going to check the sink and we're going to kick this off. Hey, you're a good girl. You want to treat? Hey everyone, welcome back to the Boss Coin YouTube channel and today we're going to be uh, doing a little AMA Q&A. So let's kick it off, let's get it started. Right here I've got a uh, treat for Tails. She's going to be here with us. We got the Tails cam up and running again and uh, she's going to have to mine for it but you know, all good things in life, you, you got to work for them. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about it. Have you guys got any feedback? Um, you know, let me know in the in the comments. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Hit me with all the questions because that's what today is about. I just moved my camera so it's in a different spot. I hope it's not too shaky. I have it on an arm. I'm trying to get a better angle. Just always trying to get this stuff upgraded and improved. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. And you know, we're going for 100k, and hopefully one day we get there. <laughs> hopefully sooner than later. We've got shirts. Okay. I know, maybe not the most exciting thing, or maybe they are exciting. I actually think these are pretty cool, which is why I released them for you guys. Uh, I've been working on this past couple days, and you know we have like a more crypto mining centric one, and then we have just a little bit more general. I mean, you could wear this around town, and if, if you don't want to be known as the crypto guy, you could just be like, oh yeah, that's a mining company out there on the East Coast. You know, it's you're not lying. <laughs> you're not lying. Uh, let's see, let's see what's going on here in, in the comments section. Mad R8B, hey man, what's going on? And uh, Wes likes the shirts. That's what I'm talking about. Ronaldo Alvarez, how do I find time to work out? Honestly, I've really sacrificed a ton of my just fitness gym routine and stuff to be focused on. Tails uh, <laughs> is getting intense down there. To focus on. Uh, crypto it's taken a toll on my life in every single way and uh, you know but that's that's the sacrifices I made and, and others make as well and I'm still trying to get back into a good gym routine uh, with my last job I was able to work out on shift sometimes so that, that was really one of the only benefits of being there but it helps yeah ant miner marketplace Canada Loki service nodes did they, they launched their they launched their test net really early which is today which is super cool if uh let's go reddit loki uh, you know whether or not you like uh <laughs> freaking thor taking it over and i can't spell but we come over here to loki project that's what it's called we'll go over here this new discord is uh or new reddit is a little annoying so here we go Service nodes test net and release date announced. The development pace in the Loki office has been consistent and quicker than expected. The launch in service nodes ahead of schedule. So that would be they're they're in Australia, so eight nine means or nine eight means eight nine if you're in the US. <clears throat> hey Wes, thanks for getting the shirt, man. Appreciate it. And Tails <laughs> Tails, you set the difficulty too high. That's funny, Mossy. That's that you're a clever dude. <laughs> So, uh, um, but right here anyway, long story short, they've, uh, they set this up and, and as far as I know, unless I'm glazing over right here, you still need 45 K Loki to set up a node, which is a lot, but at the current price point, it's not far off from the 10,000 Loki that, you know, I had originally and most others anticipated. So, you know, that's, that's how it all goes. What else is going on? Well, using your mining uh, mining BTG, you should make an update mining rig. Yeah, so uh, Bitcoin Gold, we go over here to What to Mine, which again, don't live by these profit calculators, but it does give you an idea. I've got an 8X 1070 Ti rig, right? And if we plug it in here, and just make sure everything's checked. Um, right now it says that, God, these, Earnings are so depressing. These earnings are so sad, <laughs> but uh, apparently you'd make just as much mining Ethereum today somehow. And then uh, Bitcoin Gold is going to be, you know, still one of the top coins to mine. And yeah, so I mean, this just in breaking news: mining profits are not looking too good right now. 
But, uh, Tails, did you find it? Or are you grumping over there? Hey, do you want a treat? You want a treat? Hey, stay. You ready, set, catch? One, two, catch. Ah. We, we practiced that, but, you know, got nervous on camera. I won't tell anyone, Tails. Not everyone, and everyone didn't see her or something right there. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so mining profits aren't the prettiest thing right now. Uh, the market finally rebounded some today, so so that was nice. And uh, hey, Brody, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, 45k Loki is uh, that's a lot. But if you actually <clears throat> if you actually look at the price point, it's really not that much. I mean, we go over here to I'm on the wrong page. Dual monitor still still messing me up. Coin Gecko Loki, and so this will give us Loki USD. And, and you go, you go that price point. Then don't get me wrong, six thousand six hundred dollars is a large sum of money. However, in comparison to the previous number shown with ten thousand Loki, when when Loki was you know about a dollar, well that was a very expensive master node that looked more like that. I mean obviously it was you know just ten thousand dollars, not fourteen, but. That was just a little bit for visualization right there. But you, you take the price point of the 45K Loki, it probably gets them on target with more about like what they're looking for because they these these nodes are gonna be expensive to run. They're gonna be, I imagine they're gonna be similar to like a Zencash super node where you need good specs. It's not just a node, they're gonna utilize these nodes and that's how they're gonna launch the platform that makes Loki a network. You know, that's the whole branding thing, Loki network, whatever. But this stream's not all about Loki, so what else do you guys want to talk about it? Um, if you're having trouble with the wallet, hey, Crypto Bird Dog, if you're having trouble with the wallet, have you tried updating to the latest one? I had to update to, to get mine functioning right. Uh, I mean, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is pretty pretty big scam. Uh, in my, my, my opinion, it's totally dead. It, it's just it's scammy at this point it's dead and scammy and look at this look at this pump I mean most people know about this pump but like that's insane you know look, look at that just BTC amount and that's just a crazy dollar amount but you know like everything was high dollar amount then and then recently if you guys remember this is like the biggest gaining crypto crazy and it's junk it's junk absolute junk in my opinion, in my opinion. <clears throat> what else is uh, what else you guys want to talk about? What's going on? Um, great, great to see all you guys. Thanks for everyone, you know, tuning in. I know this is a, a midday, a midday stream, and that's uh, you know a little tough for some of you guys to tune in. Um, totally, totally get it. I appreciate if you guys hit the thumbs up. I'm just checking out the the watch screen right now, making sure everything's looking decent synced up and yeah so as uh, far as airdrops uh, I, li I like airdrops I, I think they're a clever way to you know distribute your token do a little bit of interest like OMG they got a lot of traction when they airdropped to Ethereum you know people call it free crypto and ONT Ontology really made waves with their airdrop. I think that really gave them just a lot. A lot of people looking at their stuff. Why? Like, well, what is this ontology? You know, I'm getting X for how many Neo I have. Should I even care? If you signed up for their newsletter for how much crypto they were giving away, just signing up to, for their newsletter, like way back when, it, it, you signed up, you got like a thousand bucks for free, I think. You know, and it just at current days of price, I think it was like 500 ONT. Which is just crazy, but I mean, again, that's what you can kind of do when when you've got this total supply, and you don't have proof of work. Your your coins weren't generated; they weren't mined in, in that fashion. There's no cost other than clicking a couple buttons. Which, you know, the whole POS not proof of work to secure your chain is a whole other subject, which we can get into if you guys want. Uh, if not, uh, you know, you can keep your POS coins. <laughs> Um, what about Digibyte? I, you know what I really like about Digibyte? My favorite thing about Digibyte, which if you guys aren't familiar, ranked 33 coin market cap, 
and I mean you can see their their price movement. I mean we, we go one year, just kind of overall, it's it's just a moderate uptrend, but kind of everything is sort of a ah, these crypto prices just make me so sad. But uh, my my favorite thing about Digibyte is the fact that it's multi algorithm. I think that's really cool, and to see it implemented on a you know top fifty cryptocurrency, <clears throat> always cool. Uh, what happened to the BitConnect YouTubers? Uh, I haven't really been following it too much lately. Those guys disappeared, man. Like Crypto Nick, uh, Trevon James, Craig Grant. I mean, that's what happens. Scammers are gonna scam, man, and and I think they're dealing with all kinds of negative recourse still, and you know they're forever stained. That's why you know if you guys remember on the on the channel it doesn't work um whatever way back when i made a video saying how the connects a scam and i was my most downvoted video ever on the channel well now you know <sighs> now you know um what else what else you guys want to talk about if anybody wants to like group together some questions and just kind of keep pasting them um especially if the chat starts getting real active uh, that'd be awesome um richard you got no love with your comments well here's some love richard here's some love sorry i missed your comments uh, <laughs> trevon has a new big connect video oh man poor dude just, just some people just aren't destined for success i, I don't know what else to say Oh man, um, what do you think about Ion now that the fall has dropped in? Yeah, so uh, I, I, I keep I always want to say Ion, but it's Aeon. Um, yeah, I mean I know I covered Aeon. I still like the project. You know the, the tech hasn't changed. Um, they've been hit. They've been hit pretty hard in this recent uh, drop. Some things have already been hit really hard that you know we've talked about in mind. Like low key is so low. It, if it goes any lower, it's basically going to be free. Um, some coins have done really well. Like another coin that we've commonly talked about here on the channel is Zencash. And uh, actually, speaking of Aeon, before before I get off topic, um, I do want to say thanks to Luxor, Luxor Tech. Who we talked about them in our Aeon mining video. Uh, mining on their pool and stuff. They've actually sponsored this live stream and just help us, you know, keep our lights on here and uh, you know, pay, paying the bills. So this is, uh, I think that's my old one. But anyway, um, I, I have the link in the Aeon video description. But what's pretty cool is their hash rate was like 50k souls. And after the video, I mean, thanks to the awesome boss coin community, we, we pumped it up all the way to over 700,000. At one point, they had like well over 50% of the ha network hash rate, which, which isn't good, but it's, it's kind of cool to see, you know, that our community is the one doing that. Uh, again, I'm not like endorsing it or saying it's a good thing. Like, nobody freak out because it's the internet. Um, but, you know, Luxor, they're, they're, it's a professional level pool. It's cool stuff. They, they do PPS for most of their stuff, paper share. And you know, if, if you don't like it, you know, obviously you just check out another pool, but it, it's a it's a nice offering that you know they're not just gonna vanish one day. And if they did steal your stuff, they're in the US, so you actually have some recourse. What happens when you're messing with some guy, you don't know where he is, and he runs off with your weekly earnings for mining? I mean, you know, it sucks. Totally sucks. Um, speaking of them and then obelisk, because Sciacoin, it's all kind of they're on the same sort of sphere. Um, I'll touch on this in one second, but I want to grab a a couple questions because again, this is this is Q and A. Q and A. It's about you guys. Um, <clears throat> uh, how do I feel about Zellcash? Uh, I mean, it, it's cool. It's all, I'm always it's all, always like to see GPU mineable projects. Um, their, their dev team they seem nice, young, approachable. They, they look the the nice looking wallet. Um, I haven't messed with it extensively though. I think Ryo and uh, Sumo Coin. I, I think they're kind of junk. Uh, my my opinion. Maybe Ryo could turn it around, but all that drama and Fire Ice and how like he may or may not have stolen some code for his miner with XMR stack. It's a ton of drama like surrounding that dude. Apparently he's a criminal. I don't know, but what I do know is 
that <laughs> it seems like something I'll stay away from. Hey, hey Igor, Igor, tell me how to say your name right, David. Uh, thanks for thanks for checking in from New Zealand and your Slovak. That's cool. I'm Slovak and I'm right here in Virginia, USA. So, uh, very cool. I'd love to check out New Zealand. So, who knows? Maybe we can meet up if I ever make it there. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> keep uh, if if I didn't answer your question, don't don't be afraid to ask it again. <clears throat> don't spam it. But uh, again, it's just me here keeping up and. Uh, Tails, you good girl? You want a treat? Good girl. Got got to keep Tails with the, with the treat train here today. Um, I mean, she's got to get paid somehow for the live stream. And uh, here we are. Uh, Bit Bit Two has a ton of scam uh, stuff surrounding her right now that I'm looking into, but I'd really caution you if you're messing around with BitTube. Um, I'm seeing some real bad stuff. I haven't confirmed it all, so I don't want to spread fud, but. Uh, it's not it's not good news, but anyway. So Obelisk, I've been on this page for a little while. Um, they, you know, way way back when they announced their decred inside Coin Miners and this super cool brand U.S. you know uh, based ASIC miner. And then uh, this is actually what it looks like opened up, and we are on track to get a couple of these uh, thanks to the Luxor team actually. And don't think I'm getting like some crazy hookup. They actually lose money. <laughs> they, they lose money now. It's so sad, but they lose money. Um, but these are really cool looking and you know, your feelings on ASIC miners aside, this is the direction I think it'd be really nice to see ASIC miners go and, uh, just you know, a little more quality, professional and branded, unique, you know, you're not going to make a hundred bucks a day when, when all miners look like this necessarily. Um, but you know, hopefully it, you, we could have a stable ecosystem. Again, it's not ASIC miners that are so bad. It's the people producing them. Um, but long story short, uh, with this update, basically these got delayed again and people are furious and I would be too. They, they lost their ass on this stuff. They, I mean, they paid like uh, back when these these original pre-orders went up, you're paying like a Bitcoin. Even today in this terrible market, you'd be up like, I think at least three times to when these pre-orders were taken. But I gotta say, these red boards look sharp considering, you know, we don't ever see red boards. And this is what it looks like. That I, I, I think this stuff is fascinating when you get to see these kind of things, these behind the scene pictures. Something that I wish, you know, the giant Bitmain would do a little bit more of. Maybe people wouldn't be so upset with them all the time if they showed more stuff like this. Um, you know, they kind of took that same packaging style. This one looks, it's, it's colorful, colorful, so it must be more eco-friendly. Got that China generic PSU, and uh, which is, you know, fine. Got a, got a bottom dollar here we got to protect, but whatever. Um... What else is going on with you guys? Again, check out the shirts, guys. I, I, I really try to make these cool. If they suck, tell me. <laughs> and let's try to make them better next time. Um, yeah, Doge tips for treats. That's what I'm, yeah, every uh, next couple of donations. Like, I got three more treats left. The next couple of donations, I'll, I'll go straight to Tails with the treat. Um, High Desert Garden, Coinbase holding your stuff. You know, your funds there. They, uh, I actually recently read that they're going to be lifting that, that you're going to be able to trade and withdraw sooner. Um, again, a, a, a question best suited for them. There's really no way to get around their infrastructure. I mean, it's just that's that's why it's in place. It's not like you can really fool them necessarily. Um, Ronaldo Alvarez, thanks for the tip, man. This one's for Tails. Hey. This one's thanks to Ronaldo. It's a treat. <laughs> Tess is getting her lazy day on. Um, <clears throat> what else is... Uh, what else you guys want to want to talk about? Um, saw some FPGA stuff. I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, I'm going to talk about the acorns a little bit too. Uh, video Game Addicts thinks we need American ASICs. See, you know, while, while I agree with that... This is uh, this is just sort of an example of some of the things that happen to American companies that don't happen to a company based in China or 
or you know basically anywhere else necessary this isn't and this, this is necessarily not a whole blanket statement here um hey 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 you <laughs> got your freaking big connect going i gotta work on that it's been a while since i watched those big connect videos he always does the what's up what's up what's up man hey you know like big connect or not they, they did pump crypto some i mean they got a lot of get quick uh get rich quick dudes into the game and then they got out, and it's part of the bubble, and why things are down so long. But I mean, you know, it's interesting to study nonetheless. Uh, but why, why I'm here um, on the <clears throat> Obelisk page is is bit long. I mean, I keep saying that. Basically, they're getting uh, they're gonna get sued. Uh, I don't know how extensively, but it's unfortunate for them. Um, you know, you know, there's a lot of ways to look at it, but. At the end of the day, you know, even if there was a ton of money motivation behind it, they still were bringing something semi unique to the market, and they're getting slammed big time. And I'll be surprised really if they survive this. This is kind of, I mean, I mean, they're offering refunds. Maybe they're retracting the refunds. Just a, I mean, you, you gotta look into yourself to get the full extent, all the details. But, um, but yeah, so. It's it's sad to see. I wanted to see the American ASIC company at least do decent, not just get thrashed and trashed. Um, what else is uh, what is the Voss Farm mining the most of currently? Um, so you know, not to show this stuff uh, you asked, but um, I'm still mining Aeon with uh, my videos, and you know, I'm speculating there, and uh, I've got some of my like uh, older lower power rigs that run less stable. Uh, still mining Loki and then I've got other chunk of my farm so I'd probably say it's like one third one third one third of my farm uh, GPU wise mining Loki Aeon and then Ethereum Classic and Ethereum, Ethereum Classic is just to minimize my losses a little bit and you're getting a little bit better returns daily even with the price drops it's still more or less doing decent in this bad market <clears throat> uh, what else uh, let's see Starting, uh, Francis says I'm skipping his questions, but I saw that one. But instead of asking a question, Francis, you said, I mean, you created FUD. <laughs> you created FUD, man. That was your chance. Uh, as far I just I just talked about the mining techno savior and the master nodes. Um, right now I just have a snow gem master node. I need to update, which I'm not I'm not recommending that. Uh, it's low liquidity, hard to get in, hard to get out of. Uh very high risk very high risk and then i've got the zen cash super nodes and i've got the zen cash secure node tutorials coming this month um if you go to the zen cash pro or uh super node profit calc um hey crypto bird dog thank you so much for the donation you're freaking awesome and i know you've been here long time supporter and i just uh I, people like you like really just keep this stuff going so thank you so much for, for taking the time or, or, or making that donation. Tails, this is for Crypto Bird Dog. She did this. You gotta say thanks. Okay, eat first, thank later. It's my girl. <laughs> um, actually, I'll go to the super node. This, this, this is a little easier. So, I mean, you talk about profits, you can, I think they just got on master nodes online, but I find those, those sites to be really annoying. Um, <clears throat> we come over here. And let me check my, my lighting's fine. Um, so there is uh, almost 1,800 super nodes right now. And if we go to secure nodes, oh, maybe that won't work for me. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go copy that, and we're gonna change this to secure nodes. I always have trouble bringing that freaking page up. Um, Hi, Desert Guard. Thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And, <laughs> well, red, red coin poop or get off the pot? <clears throat> uh, I think it's going to poop, <laughs> to be honest. I don't follow it heavily, but my, my buddy, he was, like, really trying to show red coin to me last summer. Um, right around the infamous day of August 12th. Terrible day. And, uh... He, I mean, he was just always trying to tell me this and that, but then he was just like, yeah, there was an announcement he had, and it was a total bust, and it's, I, personally, I, I wouldn't advise it. 
Uh, but here's just for a comparison. So if if there's a about 14k Zencash secure nodes up, and there's 1800 super nodes, and they both get 10% of the block reward, right? That means a secure node is much more profitable to run because until there's 18k secure nodes, at that point these would be equal. <clears throat> Plus, it's you can run a secure node with hardware like yourself easily. Uh, running a super node is a little bit more demanding and it's going to be more expensive hardware and I'm, I'm going to cover that stuff later but if, if you want a Zencash secure node absolutely run the secure node or super or you, if you want a Zencash node absolutely run the secure nodes and I'm not saying that because I've got the super node up but because it's simply more profitable it's a basic math equation and I mean we'll just take the, the for a lower ballpark of the estimated um, earnings which is that and this will give us that and then we can see that a super node currently is making eight bucks a day which would probably make something like ten bucks with the secure node um, times twelve because twelve more or less gives you that five hundred zen you need for a super node <clears throat> oh it's the big man it's Lance here bro <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's talk some questions um, no point in mining Zencash anymore yeah I would not mine Zencash with your GPUs uh, any longer shout out to crypto bird dog for saying smash the thumbs up I appreciate it let's see if we can get this video up to I mean at least a hundred thumbs up 100 likes guys come on come on uh, and miner thanks thanks uh, I'm glad you like the the medium <clears throat> the medium content uh, you know again it's, it's not something I have like the craziest most active medium blog out there but I'm um, trying to utilize that to support uh, some you know write-ups and guides and video tutorials and stuff that I'm doing here on the channel if, if you're just checking in now check out the new threads I know it's 1 30 p.m. here some of you guys might be at work seeing this later these are a limited edition only gonna be available for the rest of the month and quite honestly I just think they're cool and uh, you know, I mean, didn't totally design it myself, customize some things, but you know, I did put all these pieces in place. So, uh, you know, support me. Come on. <laughs> well, well, made made eight RB as far as who can you know run a node. I mean, it's eighteen. I mean, I, m money is different things to different people. I think that's a ton of money. Some people don't think it's a ton of money to run a, a, a secure node. The mannings are high. Uh, yeah, you really gotta change the name. A, we'll call you AMC, but that's already a network. But whatever. Uh, should you buy a ton of 1080 Ti's? I wouldn't. Uh, I think it's real risky right now, man. I mean, look look at these mining profits. And again, you could you could speculate, speculate on all that stuff. But <clears throat> uh, I mean, now is the time. Like, if you've got rigs, oh god, that dang it, I hit the wrong thing again. Uh, if you got rigs, don't make a panic sell. Don't don't mess up. I, I think if there's anything to not panic about, it would probably be your rigs. If you go in here, you put in a 1080 Ti, right? These prices are crazy, crazy to see. Lowest I've ever the lowest prices ever in history, and they may continue down, especially as this market gets slammed. We got an EVGA here, okay? That's a company with, in my opinion, the best warranty. They got some of the top tier cards, ball bear. Ball, ball bearing fans, whatever, you know, not to sound like an EVGA salesman, but this is listed at 500 bucks of free shipping. Obviously, you know, this card has been mined with heavily, but if it breaks, send it to EVGA and hopefully they'll get it turned around uh, sooner than later. We recently had a video talking about um, graphics cards and their warranties and what are the best ones. And, you know, obviously you should watch the video, but uh, if you don't, uh, just understand MSI, EVGA, Gigabyte are going to be the best ones, especially if you're buying something secondhand. And AKA, oh, those are the only cards you should buy secondhand. You could really, really lose your ass if you buy some of these used cards and these brands say, sorry, you bought it used, good luck, like, have a good life. And you're out, you know, even a cheap 1080 Ti is a very expensive graphics card as far as I'm concerned. Um, where do I buy that shirt at? Hey, Lincoln, hey, Blood Duck, welcome, man, good to see you. Uh, shirt shirt links right here in the video description below and uh, it's it's integrated on Teespring through the YouTube merch platform so it's the first time I'm messing with that and it actually should show these shirts uh, are on like under the by the video description here soon so that, that'll be kind of cool playing around with it 
Um, what do you think about nice hash? Uh, like, if you're gonna make a deal with the devil and use nice hash, that's of course your your opinion, your prerogative. I'm not here to like dispense a ton of judgment all the time. Um, but we, we go over here to nice hash. I mean, who? I don't. I don't really understand who rents hash power. It just seems kind of weird. I mean, like, I understand, like, a couple times, like, if you don't have a good rig for it and, like, you wanted to mine some hot new coin. Like, I understand why people are buying hash to mine Raven coin early if they were big speculators. I guess I have to register. Um, but I, I just think it's so weird. Here we go. I'm looking for the marketplace. Uh, I, I just don't know why you would. I get why you'd sell it because it's the easiest way to... Put, like turn your hash into bitcoin bitcoin's the you know biggest crypto og you can easily sell in and out of it and so forth um as far as you know actual the marketplace you can see this here but this could be artificially generated i mean they could simply have buy orders in here and uh, it's just i mean i'm really just speculating i, I don't want to um uh, i don't want to go on and on you guys get my point there. Just lost a subscriber. <laughs> Later, man. Have a good life. <laughs> Life's too short to be affected by things like that in comments. And uh, I, mean, I live a high-stress life. I work seven days a week. I'm, I'm putting in about 12 hours a day on average. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm here to try to have fun, maintain a little bit of life, and, and give, tail, give Tails a good life. I mean, I got into this so I could give Tails a better life. My old job, I was working long hours. Uh, stressful, dangerous environment, and you know, uh, tails had to be created a ton of the time because of that, and I feel responsible for that. And, and you can say whatever you want, but um, you know, I love my pup, and uh, make it happen for her. tails. Do you want a treat? Thanks to Jay Ward. Jay Ward, he got you a treat. Hey, you want to try to catch? You don't. You look kind of half asleep. Ready? Set. Catch. All right, <laughs> we're gonna practice that for the next stream. I promise we'll be <laughs> we'll be giving uh we're making some good catches there. Uh, yeah, it's forty two Zen for a secure node. Um, nice hash makes fifty one percent attacks possible. And yeah, that, that's a good point. I should have brought that up. I just kind of implied, but yeah, so fifty one percent attacks. Are made possible by running hash through nice hash. It's very difficult to get the hash power you would need to, to perform a 51% attack. And you have to run nodes, and it's it's worth a video in itself. It's actually something I've been meaning to do, but uh, it's it's difficult and expensive and more advanced. There was that one site, 51% uh, attack calculator. Um, I don't maybe this guy uh, this is the one I'm thinking of but there was a site that circula circulated around big time recently I think this article is gonna highlight it this should be a screenshot on maybe not but if you guys know, know off the top of your head uh, here we go Perfect. This is what I wanted. Sorry about the delay, guys. Again, this is stuff I normally would cut out if it's not a live video, but this is a live video. Um, so we'll talk about this in a second. Let's take a couple, couple questions. Um, hey, th and also, I just wanted to say thanks everybody uh, for tuning in. And uh, if you haven't already, smash that thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, get a T-shirt. Alright, I know, I know. I'm showing the t-shirts hard today. I'm sorry. I, honestly, I just think they're cool. I'm proud of them. I've been wanting to make a couple cool shirts like that that's not very logo heavy and just more of like a... I mean, it just seems like a shirt that you'd buy from a company that sold apparel. It's kind of what I was going for. And, uh... Yeah, so, Miner Huck, hey man, what's going on? Uh, yeah, Bitcoin Gold suffered a 51% attack. And again, so did, uh... Um... The uh, God, I can't even talk. Zen Cash. Um, hey, Blood Duck. Yeah, if you if you want a hoodie, I'll definitely add it. Um, I'd be happy to add that. I'll go ahead and add hoodies. Um, after right after the stream ends, I'll go ahead and uh, add some hoodies on there. I wasn't sure if people would want hoodies, just being in the summertime. But hey, 
Winter's coming. Game of Thrones reference. Come on. Uh, is that correct that a 10 ATI on Nice Hatch only makes 20 a month? Uh, not really. I mean, if you're not making a dollar a day with your 10 ATI, uh, I mean, you got to switch coins or something. That's, I mean, that should be more or less closely possible. I'm not saying, saying you're pulling a dollar after electric in this market, but, I mean, you're still making more than you're spending. It's just not beautiful like it like it used to be. Um, yeah, people are also abusing the Ravencoin difficulty with uh, Nice Hash, and uh, that, again, that's that's a video that needs more explanation. And yeah, <clears throat> what's uh, hey Crypto Fish? Good to see you, man. Thanks for checking in. Uh, two hundred two thousand Jago. You got a question? You got you got to ask away. Yeah, mining rig rentals rents hash power too, and uh, we co we covered them before. But they seem a little more approachable and just a little more likely to maybe do something uh, <laughs> about about issues like that. Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe I'm wrong. And then there's the whole nice hash hack hack. <laughs> I think they just got rich, but again, I'm a conspiracy theorist, I guess. Um, so. Uh, Building a farm, I mean, personally, I wouldn't build a farm right now. Uh, I think there's a lot of variables at play. I'd definitely get a rig or two. Uh, I'd grab used parts because the prices are pretty low. Uh, get good ones that still maintain their warranty and experiment and learn and just get situated. And when the, the time is right, I mean, I'll be shouting it out here on the channel. <laughs> and maybe we can chase some crazy profits again. But it's, it's a tough market. And with so much uncertainty right now between FPGAs and the effect these acorns may or may not have, which I just don't want to touch on in today's video a little bit, um, plus the next wave of GPUs, next wave of ASICs, I, there's, I mean, there, there just seems to be more variables than ever. So... Yeah, yeah, who's, who's that? It's just zero. Thanks, man. Let's get this likes up to 100, baby. Come on. All right, I'm going to talk about this, and then i got a couple more questions. I see you guys. I, I want to answer them. So, I mean, so we, uh, these factors, they don't take into a lot of... These numbers don't take into a lot of factors that you actually need. But some of this stuff is very realistic. Like, uh, actually, that's not really relevant anymore. Let's see, like a good a good example would be something that's like a popular cryptocurrency that doesn't maintain a ton of hash, and you're much more likely to get 51% attacked if you're on a lot of exchanges, especially with good liquidity. So Zencash was actually a prime target, and so was Bitcoin Gold, and that's why it happened to him. And just uh. Just, just think about this conspiracy theory, right? So let's say some of the, the players behind, you know, maybe like ASICs or with ASICs uh, in mind, they 51% a GPU coin and then ASICs come out and there's such a lower drive to fork away to risk your hash rate to make it where it could be compromised more easily again. Just think about that. Uh, I'm not saying that happened. I'm not saying that didn't happen. I just want people to think. Think openly about that stuff. <clears throat> anyway, you see that th th these prices are way too low, um, realistically. It's a lot more effort and work than this. But it's um, these are very real threats and very possible for many of these coins, especially some of the smaller ones. And, uh, yeah, so that's where things like delayed proof of work um, can really come in handy because they provide an additional layer of security through the Bitcoin blockchain, which has the most hash power, which is thus the most expensive to hijack. You gain you gain security just with difficulty and volume. It's just like if you had 10 rigs on a coin versus uh, 1,000 rigs. You need 50% of the rigs to go and hijack. More hash power, higher price, harder to do. Let's talk, uh, talk some questions. I saw I saw Vitalik my booter in a little here a while ago. <clears throat> I think about joining the military. Hey, so yeah, I, I actually just recently answered this on a stream too. Uh, but yeah, the military denied me um, due to that athletic injury. Uh, 
I, I was all on set and on track to apply for uh, officer candidate school with the army. No one else would talk to me really. Wouldn't really bother. And uh, yeah, couldn't get my medical waiver and they said no. So then, uh, yeah, it took me a different path in life. And a couple of years later, now I'm here. <laughs> so I still, still support those in the military and all that kind of stuff. But they said I wasn't good enough. I uh, did I order an FPGA. I do have an FPG on the way, but it's been delayed, uh, which actually let's talk about that right now. So I got this email from Squirrel um, and I reached out to them and we will have a couple acorns here to review on the channel, which is going to be super cool. Uh, he's been real receptive and it's just nice to, nice to deal with in this industry, especially when you try to deal with these people in China that just, they don't get it. They, they just don't get it. It's so cutthroat. Terrible. Terrible. We recently learned of a delay with... Uh, I forgot how to say this. Who knows how to say this right? Somebody told me last time. And I forgot. Um, so, but anyway. <laughs> they're delivering the FPGA units to us. Uh, a, a delay in that. So the August ship dates have been moved. And may extend into the fourth quarter of this year. And may probably means like, yeah. I'm trying to say it nicely to you. And uh, due to delay and shortage of components, keep in mind there's much bigger companies, like incredibly, massively bigger than them, like Bitmain, that use these, Z like Z Zilinux? Zilinux? I mean, Zilinux makes sense, right? Zilinux, <laughs> probably not. Um, chips. So it's, it's like any other business. They're going to get pushed down in volume. The businesses, they just don't care. If you're buying the most, you get the most, and you get the best treatment, you get the best price. Uh, it's economies of scale and yeah, you know, that's, that's what's going to take place here but so this is affecting squirrel minority group and all mine aka fpga land which is where most of those people bought those fpgas and that's where we're hoping to get ours zai i links zai i links zai i links i mean would it just be zai links zai links the zai i links doesn't make sense i'm gonna go with zai links i guess but again i don't know what i'm talking about but anyway uh, this is the little copy piece in here. David Christie Tom. So David, GP Hoarder, Squirrel, Christie, Christie Mannheim uh, from Minority. And then Tom, who is, I'm just assuming, obviously, is going to be the guide at PGA Land, who I'm not familiar with. Maybe that's senseless. I haven't dealt with them super extensively. And, uh, yeah, so they're delayed, and people are pissed. And I understand. I understand. Uh... What is Kevlar Undies doing here? If you guys haven't, make sure to join the Voscoin Discord server. It's a lot of fun in there. Uh, great community. I'd say we have the best community, and I'm not just saying that because it's ours. We just have, awesome, honestly, awesome people have uh, joined and showed up there and stuck around. And we ban all the trolls. It's, if you want to troll and be annoying, take it elsewhere. That's just not really the, uh, the game we play there. Um... I can I consider five eight card rigs a farm. I mean it's a small farm. Uh, not everything needs to be a massive mi mining farm to be a mining farm. I mean, we, we make the joke. Uh, if you saw the Christmas video with my dad, he, he had a mining garden because <laughs> he just had a couple rigs. So uh, yeah, they're opening a crypto trading farm. Uh, NYSE ICE. Uh, I I think that's interesting, big deal, and just good for the longevity of crypto. Hey, we got another Slovakian out there. <laughs> um, how uh, how Asics mining can dead? <laughs> how Asics mining can dead? Then I will be happy. Aftab Ali's. <laughs> That's just funny. Um, but uh, yeah, so some people don't like Asic mining, obviously. Uh, hey, Ken's eighty-eight eight eight eight. Thanks for asking about the forum. Um, man, that, 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 like, it, it blew up twice. Blew up twice. It was the most frustrating thing. And it's just, uh, it's just so frustrating. But, uh, I, I do want to create a forum. And with the bear market, I really don't think there's any rush to it. And it's kind of just been, honestly, it's been placed on the back burner right now. And, I'm interested in it, but in the meantime, I, I just I don't have the, the time in the day, and I, I got to get some some help on the team and figure out like a income model where I, I could you know compensate some people for more of their time. 
So, um, you know, time, time will tell. Let's drop eggs on Bitmain, says Queso Apprentice. Uh, video Game Addicts has constant heat problems. You got to get some intake and exhaust flow going there. That or split, like split AC cooler, pumps more AC in there. Uh, it's super hot here. One of my exhaust fans is actually out in the shed right now, which if you haven't already, took me a while, but I finally put this a video together uh, talking about the shed. And uh, let's see, I'll pull this up. Poor tail, she's shaking because it was gonna thunderstorm soon. She hates thunderstorms. We're out of treats. Um, let's see what's going on. But I just want to pull up a couple clips for you guys. But, you know, we, we dug in here. Crazy project. And let's see. Just, I want to show you just the exhaust setup. Whatever, we'll just let it run for a little bit. Um, I put three uh, attic exhaust fans. They're pretty quiet, all things considered. They move 4,500 CFM uh, exhaust. We got intake vents on the side. I, my, I made my intake vents too small and uh that hurt my airflow and i mean again i did this i learned as i went uh i got some help from experienced guys on the bitcoin talk forum and uh really just made this possible at all but i mean you can see here we go so i cut these four inch holes in and they just don't move enough air and i had just uh way too much negative pressure in there and it's, it's just like, you know, you're sucking air through a straw. That's what, that's what was going on. And I wasn't getting maximum airflow. And uh, I, I used, uh, saw that question. I used single phase, soil miner. Um, so I, it's a residential electric. It's 240 volt, though. So it's just the right and left leg of 120 volt standard U.S. electric. And you, you always should use 240 volt because everything will run cooler because you're using half the ampage and it reduces your watt consumption slightly. And everybody argues with that. They say that's not true. Well, technically it's not true because that is not the action that reduces your watt consumption, but running on 240 volt, your machines run more efficient. So, you know, it can actually be pretty drastic on some uh, studies I've seen. I don't have the best tools to monitor stu this stuff directly, but some of the studies I've seen and read is that you could drop your electric consumption by 10% like, like you'd be like dropping your electric bill 10% if you were running on 240 volt versus 120 volt. It's more efficient for your power supplies and pretty much everything's rated for 240 volt. You have more stuff rated for 240, 220, 220 slash 240 are going to be about the same thing in this sort of setup style. But you got more stuff rated for 220, 240 as opposed to 120 or some people call it 110 volt, you know, standard US electric. So... So yeah, but anyway, we cut these in. These actually sucked uh, to the point I had to just literally kick them out. And I've actually installed bigger ones that are finally moving some good air. And actually, of all places, I got them off uh, Amazon. And they've got, uh, they've got good stuff there going. So anyway. Um, also, Vitalik, my booter, and thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Ten bucks is a big deal, and uh, I'm I'm happy to answer your question as always. And plus, you still win the award of the year for funny username. And uh, hey, if I, if I did like some funny like satire ish like crypto awards, would you guys tune in? I mean, I, I, we would go like best community, worst community, funniest username, like biggest meltdown. I don't know, just like funny stuff. I, I don't know. I I think it was funny, <laughs> but it matters if you guys think it's funny. Um, Game of Thrones mining mix. Winter's coming, Ken's. I'm telling you. Yeah, so, hey, I'm glad you like the shirts. Uh, if you're just tuning in now, check them out. Link in the description. Yeah, see, ah, oh, man, all this dirt's over here. I got so much work to do all the time. All the time, guys. <clears throat> uh, da -da -da. Yeah, Blood Duck, she hates, she hates fireworks. She hates thunderstorms. If a storm is coming, she'll start shaking and she'll want to crawl up on my lap. It's so sad. Poor little pup. Weighing in a whopping 14 pounds. We got Ken Ken McMahon right there tuning in for everything. Hey, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Look, that's gross. Disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, <laughs> biggest poop coin award. That's a good one. Yeah, that's uh, that's the exhaust stuff we used. Um, 
So let's see. People are talking about Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic, I mean, a lot of people are dismissing it that it's over. Like, you know, game over. There's no, not going to be a pump. That may be the case. Again, I'm a doge dad, not a professional investor here. And, and I said it last time. The pump may have already happened. Uh, you know, even if it maintains these levels that, you know, we're kind of around right now, it's really not bad for this coin. Uh, especially considering where it's been and where the market is and everything. Uh, but the, the trading still hasn't gone <clears throat> live, to my understanding, for Ethereum Classic. So just keep that in mind. That this could actually be about to take off and people may be dismissing it. Or um, one person just said, uh, I missed your name. Uh, it's just Zero was talking about how it's more for institutional investment and not not total retail and that's why it's on coinbase pro and uh you know I mean, you're not going to see the total news necessarily on coinbase pro they're just going to be on the initial coinbase site getting the retail section so again you know time will tell i i personally again i don't, I don't know what i'm doing just a, just an enthusiast here uh but i, I would think it's going to pump when trading goes live i think it'll pump up i think it'll go up maybe like 25 bucks Maybe that's too high of an estimate in this market. Maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll even just go up $5. It's just a pretty, pretty big increase. Like It's a 33% increase right now. And uh, people will be like, oh my god, ETC, Moon, Lambo, new with the Ethereum's dead, now it's ETC. And then it'll come back down. Everybody will be sad. There'll be some back orders and there'll be some people who sold in the pump and made some money. Personally, uh, next opportunity that I think is like, oh, good time to dump my ETC, I'm going to dump mine. Uh, ETC is not something I'm personally interested in going long on. I think I, I'm not here to dismiss it either. Uh, I like it. It's cool to see some bigger players behind it, like IOHK, Charles. I know Gerso in the chat right now loves Charles. <clears throat> um, keep on the good job, Elaine. Thanks so much for the donation, man. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, seriously. You guys, you guys make all this stuff happen. It seems like you guys are having some fun with the the Q and A AMA. So I, I could do these more often, maybe like once a month or something. If you guys want to see more of this, I'm gonna do another one actually here really soon. Um, pr probably Monday. Uh, probably Monday at night, like seven eight p.m. Just uh, really for those in the U.S. that are working right now, couldn't make this stuff, or just whatever. Um, you know. It was, it's gonna be also Miss Vosk will be here. She wants to just hope when I do it, it's gonna be more about her. She can give her insight. You guys say you want some more stuff with her. Her works her work and travel schedule keeps her real busy. So she it's, she can't always be here. Most of the stuff I end up doing just you know running running my stuff. Uh uh oh. My life's a lie. Okay, all my speculations a lie, boys. Uh ETC trading is live and Grusso just told me. <clears throat> right there in the chat. All right. All I did was lie and make stuff up. Everything's a scam. Uh, it's all a scam, boys. Girls. Wow. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe it'll still gain some momentum. If not, it's not even the even if this is the dump, ETC is hardly dumped. Everything else is dumping on the coin market cap recently so time will tell we're, I mean we're down four percent today one two percent I mean obviously things rebounded some but that would be the equivalent of being down like let's compare it to its big let's compare it to its big brother or older brother would here it's hardly down compared to ethereum my opinion <clears throat> ETC has always been on GDAX. Coin, yes. Ah, man. Oh. Yeah. Good old days. Yeah, Coinbase Pro does equal GDAX. It's very true. Crypto Bird, saw, Bird Dog says Coinbase Pro is junk. Um, AI Coin, they're, they're still working on their uh, their bridge model everything like that uh so interested to see how that all plays out again it's, it's a project i'm going long on personally 
Uh, my favorite coin. I mean, I got a handful of favorite coins. Um, and uh, I mean, I, I just I don't. It's hard for me to talk about the stuff I like because it's always taken as like shilling. And uh, I'm in an odd spot because like I really want to be like impartial and, and give things true reviews. But then sometimes like I do genuinely get interested in projects. And I like them, and, I, and I, I see merit and value in the team and what they're doing. And when I express just genuine enthusiasm, they're like, wow, nice job, sellout. I'm just like, God, internet's tough. <clears throat> Miner Huck had an interesting phone conversation with Coinbase Pro. Tell us about it in the comments section right there. Yeah, at this, uh, at their ETH, super low. We'll go here, we'll go to the USD market. I mean, 364 bucks USD. It's pretty low. It's pretty freaking low. <clears throat> pretty low. We've bored Tails. Tails didn't make it. Hey, you're a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> will there ever be a Voss coin cryptocurrency? I don't know. Time will tell. I need some more time in the day. That's the real answer. How do I do that? Um, the future of Loki. Yeah, I, I mean, I talked about Loki some earlier, but I, I think uh, still into it, still believe. It sucks that their price got slammed, but uh, that's the way it goes. <laughs> it's a good disclaimer. So, do you, so what do you like? Um, I mean, honestly, uh, the a lot of coins I'm holding right now are going to be the coins you guys always see me talking about because I talk because uh, I'm into them because I like them uh, I picked up a little chunk of Aeon uh, I've got a bag of Loki now been mining into it and traded into some of it consolidated some of my stuff and then uh, Zen Cash I, I like I like Zen Cash they've been hard of a, a little bit of drama lately and you know they haven't dealt with the ASIC mining and uh yeah, so t time will tell how all that goes. <clears throat> Take a very professional style approach to it all. Crypto and classic bear market. That's where we're at. Hey, discreet. You probably already left by now, but it's 4 a.m. there in Sydney. Thanks for checking in regardless. So you have a good one, mate. Down on the <laughs> terrible accent. I'm sorry. I disrespected you. <clears throat> Bog Dang Host. Hey, Vosk. What's going on, man? Nice to see you. Thanks for saying hi and stopping in. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up for me. Do you think the price got slammed because they sold cheap to early investors and the rest of us got holding the bag? Uh, are you talking about Aeon or are you talking about Loki? Um, it's, it's tough to say. I mean, the fact that they they sold out AION is what I'm talking about, not AEON. <clears throat> um, I mean, all it takes... Is, is a big big investor to dump their stuff and can really trash a price especially if you don't have good liquidity i mean it really would take a ton of money to buy into some of these coins to really prop their prices up um cactus jack cam see tennis he's on to it man that get that a little little oh, it's over there maybe a supreme supreme cactus a little golden knight or whatever they're called you guys probably think this is super dumb but Probably no one cares, but let me show you. Because <laughs> I don't know when else I would, when I, I was like, work this in. This is a, let me check the camera, make sure you guys got a good view on it. So this right here is a Venus flytrap. How cool is that? It's in a little, like, little terrarium. And hopefully it's going to keep growing. It's got this gel. It's apparently carnivorous gel, right? And there's the little flytrap things are on here. And I'm telling you, I'm going to make a giant Venus flytrap monster. And it's going to eat all the flies in my house for the rest of my life. doesn't need a bunch of uh, sunlight. It's self-containing here. I shouldn't open this until I've got to take it out. I guess I've just got to break this glass. Uh, but yeah, so there's something you always never wanted to know. <laughs> I lost all the viewers on that. But I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, if you want to get your own, I actually got it off Amazon. You get a lot of funny weird stuff off Amazon. You only gotta wait two days. It's great. Um, Twitch gaming streams, gnome party. Hey man. Uh, yeah, I, I could, uh, I could stream games if you guys want. I just, I feel like I've seen some other crypto YouTubers do that and they haven't been met with like great response. And 
I mean, I don't want to, like, bore you guys with me gaming. Not a ton of games I play. I really miss just Warcraft 3, Frozen Throne. Best game of all time ever. Um, I used to be addicted to Dota. Dota 2, uh, specifically. Put way too much time into it. Stardew Valley is a great game. Let's be mine virtually. I'm telling you, super cool. If you, if you like those, like, Harvest Moon, you know, Zelda-ish style games. 8-bit retro. It's fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> it's funny you guys had decent response there. It's funny. It'll it'll eventually eat me about my Venus flashback. That's funny. Give him a hamburger. I, I'll give it a shot. All investments have peaks and valleys. The investor that hodls always went out in the long run. Feed me Seymour. Giant flat trap going wild. Little shop of horrors. That's <laughs> That's funny. You guys, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Um, hey, so let's talk about Acorns a little bit. Everybody always talks about, uh, hey, finally a little little stream delay, but happy to hear you guys liking a uh, little little uh, Dub C three, little Warcraft three. I'm telling you, man, I, I'll install it. I I love. I played over ten thousand ladder games and countless custom games. I love that game. It's the best game of all time. We should bring it back. I'm serious. That, that's what Odds Wands even said. Bring it back. I never, I never liked League of Legends. I never got into it. I just, just didn't like it. I don't like the art style. You can't deny creeps. Just a couple little things really never got into me. Um, so Acorns, which are delayed now, which I don't really like that I don't really like that they've got in stock and if they're delayed. So like if I come on here, can I order this right now? So the, the first batch ship in late August and I choose a September batch and I go to add to cart. Let me do this. See, that's just not, that's, they gotta they gotta stay on top of that if there's real delay. Um, but anyway, with, with, these acorns are interesting and they, they talk about what they can do. But if you come down to the stat sheet, a lot of it is uh, incomplete, right? And like, w when is this gonna be complete? It's kind of my question. Why can't I go over? Um, anyway, so you know we're talking about X16X, Phi2, time travel. Um, what about like all the Equihash algos? Like the GPU mineable variants. Oh, uh, I thought they were delayed further than that, Danny. But if they're on track for the end of August, that's interesting. I, I guess I misunderstood based off this email. Um, I guess that was, I guess I just sort of combined that those would sort of be in the same boat. We'll see. Interesting nonetheless. And, and uh, whether you like or don't like Squirrel, you have to respect someone who's trying to do something innovative. And if you don't like the price, then just don't buy it. But if you do like it, don't be annoying and shill, shill it all the time. And don't have too high hopes for it. This may not be the savior that everybody wants, but it may be good. I mean, regardless, it's cool to see a mining-specific device come into market. Um... So maybe I shouldn't shouldn't generalize generalize things too much there. Uh, so much uh, so much is it, constant influx of info. Like mining in itself is like a whole crazy world to follow. Then you got to keep up with crypto on top of that. Crazy stuff, crazy times, crazier shirt designs. <laughs> That's a terrible ad. Uh, Uh, da, 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 let's see some questions. David said that yesterday to confirm you won't get the result they post with an X1 riser. Yeah, so they need to be like basically direct on the board. Makes it for some interesting rig designs if it all comes together and makes sense. Danny Greerso wants to see the squirrel miner, which looks like this. Which is cool. 
Only minor support for Acorn acceleration, standalone CPU and GPU mining, GPU health, automatic tuning, stats at a glance. So basically it looks like one of the more prettier and advanced mining um, softwares ever created. And this is what's pretty cool. Dev fee free. So, I mean, I, you can't argue with free if it's better and works, which is cool. So we shall see. Tron shirt. Oh, I don't know, man. My, my, what about your boy, Justin's son? Tech and Speed, thanks for tuning in, man. Good luck on your flight. Travel safe. Crypto Bird Dog is picking up some squirrel products. Dutch Slayer 70 wants to know about the Vosk pool. Um, that is, uh, it's not under development. It's not out of the question. Uh, it's, it's, it's a big, it's a big time and in, time investment and it's going to take some money. Uh, you know, we, we may do it. Um, time will tell. It'll happen eventually to what extent? I don't know. I guess that, that's really the answer. It, it will happen. Absolutely. For a couple, couple coins. I don't. I don't have a timeline, and I don't expect it soon. But I think it's sort of inevitable. Um, da, da, da. The moon. Let's see. Give me with some questions, everybody. I, I don't follow Subcoin, so I can't can't give you a good answer on that one. Squirrel Miner is both. It will be interesting to see if their miner's performance can keep up with the best. I don't know why I refreshed that. Not like anything was going to change. Yeah, no import. That's true. Uh, yeah, Brett, Brett at UD, UFD Tech does some gaming streams. And uh, like, like you said, I guess they've been well received. But, some, but Son of a Text uh, does seem to be the opposite. And I think he walks a hard line. He's, he's, tr he's trying to be a crypto channel and a tech channel. And it's very difficult. Because they're both very consuming worlds. And he doesn't even do it full time. That's tough. Um, I haven't done solo mining in a long time. First coin I ever mined. That's a cool question. Uh, I don't want to see that. Look. Miss Voss made me watch these freaking videos. Now I'm getting weird ones like this. Mind blowing. First time chiropractic adjustment. Thanks Miss Voss. This is where you guys are going to be like yeah sure. Mighty Plains. Um, so we come over here. So I'll just go like this. Why does that not work? Here we go. So I go uploads. New tariffs on China will take effect. And end of August, going to increase the price of computer, com computer components by 25%. That'll be uh, pretty painful. Might be time to pick up some stuff. Maybe it'll help the yeast market a little bit. Be will be more inclined to buy used stuff because new stuff will be jack jacked up. Um, so we're gonna go oldest video, right? First video ever on the channel. Me almost made myself bald, looking super ugly, sitting there on the ground. <laughs> My 6x GPU mining rig, and I was mining Ethereum, and it had just gone up to eighty dollars. Wow. When I, when I first got into this, Ethereum was forty bucks. Should have bought some. Should have bought a lot. I was like, oh, I'll take the conservative route. We'll get a mining rig. Epic play there would have been to buy a ton of moons, buy a ton of rigs, mine all that crypto, moons, <laughs> and rinse and repeat. So, um, man, it's funny looking at these old videos. Times have changed a little bit, but guess what hasn't? Tails, beautiful pup. Sleeping. Sleeping. <clears throat> what else you guys want to talk about? Let's see. We'll probably uh, probably wrap this up here. Why'd that timer stop? Probably wrap this up here in maybe 15 minutes. Hi, KH. Watch my first videos when they came out. So that's awesome. Thanks for watching this. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah, kind of very true. It's always easy to say that stuff after the fact. You know, what if crypto crashed? Uh, you know, next week, and I could build an awesome gaming PC, 
and then sell some stuff for a decent price. Would have been the total opposite there. Uh, you, you minimize your risk. You also partially, you know, minimize your rewards. Uh, but you know, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Still a great time. Um, we, why you have a, why you have to do a Q and A closer to school opening? My wife is running around like a chicken without a head. Watch the replay later. <laughs> hey, we dinga. Um, hope your day gets a little less stressful. Yeah, I guess uh, I don't know. I kind of overlook stuff like that. Um, I thought school started the first week of September, though. Maybe it's different where you are. But in Virginia, that's when it starts. Will be time for two days football practice, though. Hot days. Hot days those were. Um, hey, Robert. Uh, yeah, so um, Squirrel is actually going to be uh, kind enough to, to thankfully send me send me an acorn to review. So I'll have, have that on hand. I was kind of on the fence. Um about ordering and, and I really want to get on hand see what's going on before I would take it farm wide but I'm hoping to be blown away by it but I'm trying to keep my expectation low because people are trying to act like the acorns are just God sent maybe they are maybe they're not this is the nest four acorn units in a PCIe slot with any special motherboard then we got the X2 so school started last week in Georgia. We you have a nine to five job again. Man, I got a job that starts before nine and ends after five now, so I sort of already do. <laughs> uh, Joshua, hey man, thanks for tuning in. I'm glad that I, I'm hopefully semi-entertaining here for your lunch. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do an evening stream uh, next week. Hopefully you're right here with Miss Bosk. Uh, not 100% guaranteed yet, but, you know, probably. Probably. Um, as far as, you know, if, if I was going to say anything, if you guys care about my two cents on just the overall market, like, it's easy to get down and get discouraged when prices are like this. Don't don't be distracted by this green. These prices are getting freaking hammered, right? And that sucks. But, really, this weeds out people that shouldn't be here. This weeds out products, this bleed or projects, this bleeds them out. If, if they suck, if they lied, if they wasted their money, if they gambled and tried to, you know, hodl their funds instead of just selling off what they raised and committing it to their project. This, you know, it's the it's like a cleansing, you know, it's a, it's a cleansing. And, and what this will do is leave us with a stronger ecosystem. This also gives places more time to catch up. To deal with regulation to get things situated to, to build the launch pad so when when hopefully you know there's not like nothing's guaranteed in life but hopefully this stuff's going to rebound and then we're going to go to crazy new heights and i think even if we went to where we were at the beginning of this year people would be ecstatic or honestly myself in, included um so regardless regardless the the, my, the main point i wanted to make in addition to just that that basic part is that the tech is real blockchain is real blockchain is here to stay how it's going to be used and implemented and what coins will really do that lead that pioneer it you know time will tell like will some of these projects become basically companies that are bought out and their tech is bought and you know you'll see microsoft i mean some of these it's not possible some of these it will be possible depending how they're structured and again that goes against the logic of cryptocurrency and i'm not saying i like that supported him and i'm an advocate of that but you know it would at least be good i, I would imagine for these prices it would, you know it's there's two pieces to crypto it's basically supporting blockchain decentralization and, uh, and helping to usher in the future which is you know always a focus and awesome and important but then you also want to make money i mean you don't need to lie like it's okay to want to make money what's what's cooler about being involved supporting learning about all this cool tech and these projects and also making money i mean come on no need no need to be you know not transparent about it um sky miner so sky coin sky miner um we have, I have a video on that coming soon just kind of kept getting pushed off i missed the crazy pump with binance which has been a cool time to talk about it and now it's plummeted 10% of its all-time high within like the last two months, which is pretty pretty sad to see. Pretty sad to see. 
Man. Bitcoin, $100,000. I don't know. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Obviously not, though. Um, yeah, all these delays in the ETF haven't been good for the market, but if, the, if, if those delays trash the market so hard, we're still in a pretty fragile market. Don't get distracted by the fact the Warriors blew a 3-1 to one lead. Oh, man. Tom Brady, why'd you drop that pass? The last Super Bowl. Butterfingers. This is just a cycle. The purge 2018, the accumulation phase. Um, steel horses, shoot me, shoot me a PM. I, I don't know. Shoot me a PM. I'll be glad to tell you what I used to do. Harley, let's start with a 1066 gigabyte. As far as, uh, yeah, guys, uh, hit the thumbs up. Always appreciate it. Uh, definitely. You know, if I was going to make a Bitcoin price prediction for this year, and uh, again, it's just total speculation here, obviously. I mean, don't, don't hold me to this. I don't want this in articles or anything. This is just like a top secret live stream. Guess what, you guys? I would honestly think that we'd see a price between... I mean, I'm just going to pick a window. I think we'll see a price between 20 and 30K if the market stabilizes and, you know, has a big, big insurgence. Because, you know, on one hand, it's like that's a crazy price per Bitcoin, right? But if you look at just the actual price... That would be times four. Everyone thinks that, uh, not everyone, but a lot of people are hopeful that Ethereum is going to go back up over $1,000. That would be the same kind of growth. It's not an unheard of growth, especially for a lot of these cryptocurrencies. Like even NEO was over $120 and it's pretty recent all-time high. And now it's, it's literally a fraction of that. <clears throat> so... What do you guys think? Um, interested to know what you guys think. <clears throat> Is the Voss store broken? I'm trying to buy the wife a tank top. Um, I'm not sure, man. Uh, keep trying. It should work for you. Maybe refresh. Use a different browser. Again, it's, it's Teespring's platform, so it's either going to work or not work. Um, I picked up a shirt, and a couple others have, so... It'll definitely, uh, it definitely works at least sometimes, <laughs> but I, I think, I think it might be fixed by just using a different browser device. Um, am I loading up on cheap GPUs? Absolutely not. You know, you, you can, if you want to, I mean, these prices are pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. You'll see prices around 150 bucks now. You know, if you, if you spend a little time, look around. You see it all day, two hundred dollars. I mean, this one's one sixty-five, uh, one seventy-five. Best offer. Keep in mind, these these won't. Some people, I've heard mixed things that the that these will carry their warranty, but just be careful buying these used cards. That's probably the advice I can give you. Um, again, you know, time time will tell. Time will tell. All right, so got six minutes left. We'll go ahead and wrap this up in the next six minutes. Uh, 150 would just be for like an RX 570, four gigabyte is uh, what I was referencing. I guess I didn't specifically say that I had it on the screen, but didn't specifically say it. Um, some people think price is 10K, 20K with or without the uh, ETF. Again, time will tell, guys, and that's just my bullish pr prediction there. Um, I could be totally wrong. <laughs> totally wrong on Bitcoin. Uh, no, I've been wrong before. Everyone uh, everyone can be wrong. Be careful listening to someone like everything they say is gospel because that's just not the case. Uh, oh, one other thing, which is really depressing, that I want to touch on, just to kind of remember this moment in time, is that... Um, well, one, this is actually kind of important. The SEC will decide on nine Bitcoin ETFs in the next two months. They're going to have to start approving all of them or continue denying them all, I think. I mean, that's just be what makes sense. But August 8th, this news came out that the crypto market just hit a low for 2018. 
So just think about that. We're, we're at the worst point in the market for the whole year. And we've been getting thrashed since like after the first two months, basically. We've just been getting thrashed. And we're now at an all-time low. So there's two, basically two things that happen. We're going to continue to lose money or it's going to go up, obviously. But uh, I'm hopeful that things are going to turn around. And hopefully we are around the bottom. And when when the when the tidal wave of increase comes, it will it'll be massive. It'll be massive, and it, it'll be difficult to even just get your money back in and maximize on those gains. In my opinion. So we got A and J Roadie here buying the dips and selling the highs. Always easier said than done, but I, I like the uh, I like the enthusiasm. <laughs> got four minutes left anything else you guys want, want to ask here um we got we got matthew wagner coming uh coming in he's buying low and he's selling high that's awesome man <laughs> uh new gen from nvidia is gonna dump the old nvidia prices big time says justin birkin probably 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 definitely agree there um you want to see a crazy cheap card now poor 1063 gigabyte great card great card these things were selling for 300 bucks at the peak now it's 130 40 dollar card looks like used it's just crazy looking at these prices and then there's stuff like the Amon l3 plus which i was looking at which like makes no money and you can get them for 100 bucks now that's just god asic mining man asic mining oh some people have recently asked um what, what I think about the Amon Z9. Uh, get it if you want. I'm not going to buy it. I just, I mean, there's bigger and badder uh, ASIC miners coming out. The ASIC Miner Co. one. Um, which they're apparently going to send me to, to have temporarily to review. We'll see if that actually happens. But um, it pushes almost 200,000 souls, which is like, you know, four or five times roughly this, depending how this one overclocks. And you know, the price is, is much higher as well. It's water cool, whatever. The point is just that there's very big Equihash ASIC miners out coming. And it's going to change that landscape. Personally, if I had an Ant Miner Z9 anymore, which I don't, I would sell it on eBay. I would sell it on eBay, take the risk of selling on eBay, do everything you can to protect yourself, write down your serial numbers, take pictures. Honestly, I would even take a, a freaking video of me putting it in the box and handing it to the guy at USPS because then he can't be like, oh, he never sent it to me because there's a lot of scammers on eBay. They'll buy that stuff. It'll suck in a month or two like most ASICs and then they'll try to file a claim with you. So everything you can do is just to protect yourself in this world and life and everything, obviously, but especially with this stuff because unfortunately money brings scammers. Really, scammers everywhere, but whatever. <clears throat> you guys get it. You're there. Got, we got two minutes left. Two minutes left and we'll <clears throat> we'll close this up. If you haven't already, grab that Boss Coin shirt. Come on. And uh, like Conair said, that's a great idea, man. Follow Boss Coin on Twitter. This, Twitter and Facebook will be the social media stuff that I use. We have Instagram. Miss Boss runs it. Um, so follow that and tell her to post more. <laughs> But here's uh here's Twitter if you guys use it. If you don't, I mean I'm not gonna judge you. I'm not like some Twitter freak. I don't I don't even tweet that much. I try to tweet once a day, but it doesn't always happen. Sometimes I post three, four times if I'm getting a little crazy. So <clears throat> there we have it. Do do I think Zcash will ever fork? I don't think Zcash is gonna fork. I don't think Zcash is gonna fork the ASICs. I estimate, guess, I don't know, and I almost have some kind of insider info, but I guess that Zencash will eventually fork, um, and and they're gonna they're gonna brand. I bet their own algorithm. They're gonna implement something, you know, different or re relatively new or just they're, they're gonna do something, and it's gonna be their algo, and it's gonna prevent them from being susceptible to fifty one percent attack, or at least hopefully, and, and that's my guess because that just seems like what they would do. But they're bigger now. And things move slower, and things like that also just take time, <clears throat> time and a lot of planning. So, I think it'll be a while. Like, could even be next year. Um, yeah. So, 
other than that guys uh that's pretty much it i appreciate all you guys tuning in thank you so much um hope you guys like this stream i hope we just covered some stuff that was fun uh this is kind of what we do at the end of every live stream but in a much smaller scale so again this is all about you guys what you want to talk about and for me to shamelessly me shamelessly plug my shirts all along the way and uh Again, thanks Fluxor for sponsoring this live stream. Gotta pay the bills, gotta keep the lights on. That electric bill really hurts in this bear market, let me tell you. Um, other than that, uh, you guys are all awesome. Uh, Jody's talking about uh, one of our Discord members is working on an XMR pool. So join the Discord, check that out if that's something that's interesting to you. Gotta support our community because the community supports us, absolutely. Um, Crypto Bird Dog, thanks for watching, Heike. Bog dang host. Thanks, man. Sean, you're the man. Justin, my pleasure. Thanks for tuning in. AJ Rody, you're the man. Robert, thank you for your th your time watching. Turbo Shane, well, you the man. Minor Huck, I want the logo. Hey, hey I'm out of hoodie. I had a hoodie to the list. Um, <laughs> thanks, brother. Buy a shirt plug. <laughs> got nick here from luxor checking in uh ken mcmahon you rock all you guys rock so thank you so much hope you guys enjoyed this if you want me to do more stuff like this i can make it happen if you think this sucks and i should never do it again you can tell me and i'll stop doing it <laughs> so thanks everyone you, all, you guys all have a great day